The Italians have got opera. The Spanish have got flamenco dancing. And what have we got? Weight Watchers. <laughs> and the Happy Festival, or Happy as it's known. Good evening, councillors and ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Do you know you're the first audience in the Met since last October? So well done, the Met. <laughs> and to all those watching at home on the electric highway, welcome. And it's lovely to be in your living rooms. <laughs> so just before we start, Happy, can we just take a moment to remember the events at the Manchester Arena exactly four years ago today? And just, we will never forget. So, Happy was set up to celebrate the life of Berry's favourite daughter, Victoria Wood. From comedy to song to serious drama, Happy will try and reflect all the things that Victoria excelled at. I'd call her a national treasure, but we know what she thought about that. Everyone's a national treasure these days, you can't move for them. But there should only be one at a time. For years it was Dame Thora Heard, and after she died it was going to be Judy Dench. But then Joanna Lumley saved the Gurkhas and she got the gig. <laughs> so the first Happy Festival was due to take place last year, and we all know what happened then. But we're back and we're live to celebrate Victoria's birthday. So let's start with a performance by a quartet from one of the world's finest orchestras, the Manchester Halley, with Peter Liang leading. A medley of songs to make you smile. Peter? Thank you. 
Sims, Lux, and Marvel. So it's just brilliant. Thank you. And for giving us the opportunity just to play some of our favourite pieces. Um, some, that was some Mozart to start off with. And we're next going to play an arrangement I did ages ago for one of my friend's weddings. Um, and it's imagining what Ravel, the great French composer, would have made if he'd been dreaming of the South Pacific, especially a little island called Bally High. So it's a bit of a mix-up of those two things. Then we're going to play um, some folk music, uh, two pieces from the Danish String Quartet's album um, called Last Leaf, which is wonderful if you get a chance to listen to it. And as a, the first one is called Shore, and it's the idea of, I think, a boat coming on shore in great mist and <laughs> indistinctness. And then after that, um, it's the a fast, uh, fast reel, I guess, called Droma, which is known in Scottish as... The Piper of Dundee. The Piper of Dundee. And then finally, it would have been lovely to have finished with something like, you know, the Ballad of Barry and Frieda. But without the words, I don't think we could have got away with it. So we're doing something by another great um, local boy. We're going to do Leaning on a Lamppost by George Formby to send you off.
Rosemary Atri, second violin, Christine Anderson, viola, and Simon Turner, cello. Thank you. I haven't got a waist. I've just got a sort of place, a bit like an unmarked level crossing. <laughs> so, staying with the Halley, we'd like to share an exclusive with you. To introduce this next video is David Butcher, the newly appointed chief executive of the world-class Halley Orchestra. David. Thank you very much. I get, I get applause, how lovely. Isn't it great to hear live music again? Um, and, and I started back in September, and that was my first Halle concert. So this place is always going to be very special to me. Um, and as, as, a, as a naughty plug, can I just say that we are starting concerts at Bridgewater Hall again on the, on the 3rd of June. There'll be 80 of the Halle playing Enigma Variations and Stravinsky Petrushka. So do come along and see us at Bridgewater Hall as well. Um, but it's just to say how lovely it is to be at the Happy Festival. Um, our lot have had a great time. Quartets here. Um, we've been in three care homes today, and yesterday we were doing a kind of digital uh, community sing. So um, we, we've, we've just loved being part of the festival and are looking forward to it continuing. Um, and there's a lovely link with Victoria Wood, who knew the orchestra very, very well too. Um, I think I know that she went as a child to hear the Halle, so that was an important part of, of, of her huge and wonderful music education. Um, and the Halle themselves worked with her, um, on, on TV dramas and things, and she became a patron of our children's choir. And almost best of all, with the foundation support, we have an absolutely glorious hall in Halle St. Peter's in Ancoats, um, which is a fantastic and lasting memory um, for, for Victoria's amazing work. So we're really, really proud of that. Um, today, once these microphones are moved, we have a little film to show you. Um, it's really a thank you to the 10 boroughs that make up the Greater Manchester Combined Authorities. They support our work. We, have, we do so much. We're more than... I've always thought the Halle Concert Society, which is our name, uh, is, is apt because we're much more than an orchestra. Um, we do education, community work uh, from uh, all ages. And we've been doing that for the past couple of years, even in lockdown. We've created this film really as a thank you to the Greater Manchester Combined Authorities, just to show a little flavour of the work that we've been doing. So we're going to share it with you now. Um, this is its premiere. Um, I hope it's going to work. I'm sure it will beautifully. It's been made by our in-house digital team. It lasts about 25 minutes, but um, I hope you enjoy it. And just to say again how delighted the Halle are to be part of this wonderful festival with live audience. Thank you. Whilst over the years the Halle have provided some inspirational additionality to our core work through projects like Come and Play and through a range of special instrumental orchestral projects for our young learners, over the years the Halle's work has become more a part of the essential day-to-day -day work that we do with our schools. So whilst of course it's amazing to fill the Bridgewater Hall with Wigan kids to enjoy a come and play concert or a Halle for Youth concert. It's equally meaningful for us to have access to other Halle resources which are utilised locally and integrated into our daily work. I think I speak for all of the music services here in Greater Manchester and also for the Halle. Uh, when I say that we shared the music education journey together over many years um, with us learning many things from the orchestra and the orchestra learning from us. 
um, because we're all just a part of a big team that cares about quality music education for all children, both now and in the future. Ravel's music sets the scene with the feeling of walking footsteps. Have a listen to the oboe and the corps anglais playing Tom Thumb's walking melody as he wanders quietly through the forest, carefully dropping his crumbs of bread. Well, I really, really liked at the, at the end um, where it was her falling into a deep, deep sleep. You could really feel it and see it. Like. Yeah, and you can also, with that type of music, you can imagine it in your head. And also when um, she was pricking her finger, when I was imagining that, I could just feel how like she couldn't control her body and yeah. like she, she was just falling asleep and she couldn't control what she was doing. Uh, I liked the pitch when it went high and low. Me too. I like the build up at the end because the hat really gave it a magical touch. I like the contrabassoon because it really reflects how the beast would talk. Yeah, and it also reflects the personality. Definitely. In the story, Goddess Gaia takes us on a journey around the globe, showing us what humans are doing to the natural world. take this opportunity to share Hotwood Primary School's experience of taking part in a Music, Mind and Mood Halle for Youth project. The project was based around a composition from the Romantic era and a classical painting. Skillfully led by two Halle musicians, the children enjoyed the challenge to compose an abstract piece of music in the style of the composer, reflecting the images in the painting. The children thoroughly enjoyed working with students from the Northern Valley School to create a dance to complement their performance. Particularly motivational for the boys was having male role models. To visually enhance the dance, the children learned how to make imaginative costumes under the guidance of a theatrical costume designer. The project culmination at the Bridgewater Hall provided a unique experience for the children, allowing them to perform alongside a prestigious orchestra on stage at such a young age. The whole project was an outstanding and truly educational experience for them. I'm the Education Director of the Halle and tonight we're in Bramall High School for a performance from one of our core education programmes called Adopt a Player. We hope the, the children get the opportunity to uh, enjoy obviously the music and coming to the Halley and the Bridgewater Hall. 
we also hope that they get interested in playing an instrument, which after all is what we're looking for, but we're also looking to start, if you like, a child's musical journey. What may happen in these projects, we never know. But if you talk to any musician in the Halle, there's one star ping moment that got them to play a particular instrument because they heard something and so on. So we hope that our Doctor Player program will do that for as many children across Greater Manchester as we possibly can. Anyone thought it's such an interesting thing, he doesn't make any noise except when he talks, but when they play, he just gestures. Do his gestures matter? Would anyone like to come and try? Go on, have a go. Go on. I mean, just come and conduct the orchestra. I'll show you how. Yes, yeah, the one here. Come on, then. I'll start you off, Rodrigo. You're getting the tempo. And all you've got to do is one, one, one. That's it. Beautiful. That's a lovely movement. OK, ready, everybody? Three, four. Uh -huh. Do you see? And they play. It's easy, isn't it? OK, when I stop, keep going. Okay, don't, don't go slow. Keep going. One, one. <laughs> all right, all right. Well done, that was brilliant. Brilliant, it's fun, isn't it? Um, so I've started to get involved with the Halle uh, originally through the um, RNCM and Halle PES scheme. I was very fortunate to be invited to come and play Mozart clarinet concerto fair movement for the Halle Schools concert, which is just such an incredible opportunity. Um, working with the Halle, I've managed to get, get so many skills um, during my time and um, I think essentially coming in to play next to such incredible musicians, just sitting around them, you gain so much information and knowledge. And yeah, I think it's just, it's been really helped me cement, cement um, what I want to do with my future because it, they're such incredible musicians, it's very nice to play with them. A dinosaur Seashell Trust is a, a long established school, initially known as the School for the Deaf, but we have children with multi-sensory impairment, we have some children who are visually impaired, some who are orally impaired, some who are parts of both, but we welcome all of these students and their special needs because we want to teach them communication through music. I'm Chris Emerson, I'm a viola player in the Halle and I come to the Seashell Trust for uh, education projects. Uh, we're bringing music to um, two classes. We're trying to create a, a connection with them and, and communicate with them in a, in a different way to what they are used to. Really concentrating on, focusing on each, each of the children in turn. It's a wonderful way to, to actually make a difference with these kids because the slightest amount of music makes an enormous difference. So to be able to do that week on week and carry on and over, over the foreseeable future is a, a, a wonderful opportunity and experience. we're looking at is the way that technology can work in the sector and we, we started in some work um, with robot orchestra and that we've seen as before um, and that conversation has developed into 
the idea that we perhaps could look at a device that would help the musical processes that we're working on within the homes. I'm Victoria Armstrong and I'm the founder of the Oasis Centre in Gorton. So I moved to um, Gorton 26 years ago as a student, uh, wanted cheap accommodation. Um, but when I moved here I realised why it was so cheap. Um, so I'd never been in a deprived community um, and uh, basically as soon as I moved in I wanted to get out. Um, but then three months into my degree I became a Christian and I really felt challenged to stay here and try and make a difference. Um, so Oasis is all about being um, family to people that um, have suffered neglect and a lot of isolation in their lives. So what we try and be here is a place of stability, a place of community, a place of aspirations and a place of hope for people's future. Naomi and uh, the Halle team got this place straight away. They came in, they saw what we did and they said we want to help and support you and they have provided this incredible environment where I would say the choir offers as much value as our maths and our English courses, um, as our crisis support. Um, it's, it's up there with really seeing lives being transformed. It's made me more positive, okay. more belief in, in yep. my voice. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives you the confidence, it gives you um, excitement about singing the songs and um, it's a real pleasure to be with the um, people who teach you, it's really good. And all I do is I urge people out anywhere to come and join the choir because you will enjoy the atmosphere with the choir and the people who run it. I mean you can't get any better than the Alley Orchestra one. What can you say? Although the Halley has been here in Manchester for a long time, the Halley never really has had a home. Now, with this building, the Halley really feels it has its own home, somewhere that it can that, that it can really put its roots down, that it can really feel special, that it can do all sorts of other things besides rehearse and play music. It can really do all the community work that it wants to do, wants to get involved more with the people in Manchester, and this is an ideal base to do it. It really feels as if it's our, our home and that our home is part of the fabric of not just um, Ancoats but Manchester, um, Manchester itself. We're, we're part of the fabric, we're part of the innards of Manchester and we feel as if we're owned by the people, local people around here, which is really lovely. We're so fortunate to have this beautiful building for all our ensembles to work in um, and my favourite bit is when we get children or young people coming in for the first time and the light in the building makes them look up as they walk in the hallway. Um, also as you go into the church it's just so beautiful and you can see that surprise and delight in their faces. That's before we even get to making any music. St Peter's has been wonderful for the orchestra. It's made us part of the community here in Ancoats and this is such a vibrant space now since it's developed in the time we've been here from the earliest days when before the extension which was a really exciting time I and mean, it was an inspirational space then and it's even more now with the extension and we just love being part of here this square all the restaurants all the cafes the real vibe of the place Hi, I'm Ted and I'm from Jolton in Manchester and I'm in my fourth year in uh, training with the Halle Children's Choir. Hi, I'm Georgia and I live in Sale. I'm in year seven, so now I'm at my fourth year at Halle Children's Choir. 
So what skills does the choir give me? It can, teaches me to focus on uh, really making my performance really good as well as becoming really professional in the performance as uh, you need to learn that if you're going to be performing with the orchestras. After COVID restrictions ease, I'm most looking forward to doing the movement performances because they're just so much fun to do. Obviously I can see all my friends who are currently in the choir and also I can fully go back to the choir and have the entire choir performing at the same time in person which is a really magical experience. My name is Harry, I'm from Astley in Greater Manchester. I play the violin and I've been involved in the Halle Youth Orchestra for the past year now. Being able to talk to professional musicians and play far more challenging pieces has really helped my musicality drastically improve. I've really liked getting involved with young people who like music and who share similar interests as I do. I'm really looking forward to getting back to meeting meet in person and I would definitely recommend the Halley Youth to other people. The Hello Youth Choir is full of like-minded people who are passionate about having new experiences and learning from each other and it creates a kind of familial trust between everybody. When it comes to music, I don't really have a background that's very rooted in classical music. So um, yeah, it's definitely like broadened my horizons when it comes to music. The Halle has helped me develop lots of skills such as teamwork, communication and organisation all good skills for the choir and also important life skills. Once Covid restrictions end, I'm most looking forward to the Halle Christmas concert. Since my first Christmas concert, it has always been my kickstart into Christmas festivities and I think this year will be even more special to me as it will be my last concert before I leave for university. And I would like to offer the role of the new Halle assistant conductor to Delia Halle. Yeah. It's extremely exciting to be here and to be receiving this. Um, yes, I am overwhelmed with the whole experience and this great privilege to take this prize. The first thing that struck me about her was that she seemed in control of herself. And it's very, very hard when you're a young conductor to be at home with yourself when you're in such a pressured situation. She seemed to me to have poise, um, and she may have been terrified inside, but she didn't show it. And that gives an orchestra confidence that she will let them play, because we can't control an orchestra unless we're in control of ourselves. And that was very remarkable in somebody so young. I, I really loved working with the youth orchestra and um, just they were so ready and so responsive to anything that I asked. This immediately felt like we had a really good report and good connection. So that was also quite a rewarding experience.
I had the privilege of acting as one of the judges for the competition. And we saw many, many great talents there. And Diana surprised us with an amazing performance. Diana clearly has a bright future ahead of her, I'm sure. She had a natural way of speaking to the orchestra, as if she'd been doing it forever. And that's a great gift. Not everybody actually has that. And her conducting, above all, was very passionate. It was straight to the heart of the feeling in the music. And I think that won the orchestra over. The standard was high, um, but I just felt by the time everything had happened and we had to decide, I just knew she was the one I wanted to help. I'm really looking forward to be back at the Bridgewater Hall, to seeing and listening to the Halle as they are making music right there, making it come alive. It's such an exhilarating experience, and I'm looking forward to sharing that experience with many others very, very soon. Oh, it's very special, really, to be able to uh come down to the concert. Also, because my husband has dementia, uh, you know, and he really enjoys music. So it was really good to be able to share that experience with him. I've never been to see a classical concert before in your life, and it was a really nice experience to see it online, at home during the pandemic. It was really cool how they did that. And now I can't wait to see one in real life when things are open again. I love this orchestra, not only for what it's done to me personally, but for what it does for the city of Manchester, its youngsters and its adults. It's an organisation of which I think we can all be very proud. David, that was a great film. It was really moving. And aren't we lucky to have the Halley Orchestra? It's just stunning. So next up, we've got a very special choir. It's the Berry-based Alpha Educations Community Choir, directed by Carolyn and Joe Hudson. Now, the choir, founded in April 2020, includes members of the Mezzo Community Choir, the Bolton Hospital, teachers, nurses, carers, doctors and students from Bury and beyond. Now then, the choir was going to be performing live today, but recent changes to the COVID guidance has meant that the choir has recorded their performance and will be accompanied live on stage by the leaders and singers from Alpha Education. Now, you'll be able to see the full choir live in September, but in the meantime, please enjoy the songs for Happy from the Alpha at Home Community Choir.
community and it really doesn't matter what you wear just as long as you're there this is a fantastic evening and we're really sad that our community choir can't be with us because they bring something really special homemade chutney <laughs> Victoria sponge knitwear but most importantly hugs and friendship and so we're going to get off the stage because we're going to leave you with our fantastic Alpha at Home community choir because after all they are the voice. Thank you so much everybody.
thank you to the Alpha Education's Community Choir. So joining a youth theatre gave Victoria a new confidence and allowed her to explore the talent that she would launch on the world. Victoria joined the Rochdale Youth Theatre. But tonight, we're going to look at the vital work of Aiming High and Met Express, specialist drama groups based here at the Berry Met for young people and adults with learning disabilities and autism. They work tirelessly to give young people confidence and maybe even find the next Victoria Wood. So let's look at the work of Aiming High and Met Express, inspired by Happy. Owens. Fun. Fun. Joy. Joy. Energy. Energy. Exciting. Sport. And basketball. Yellow.
great work by Aim High and the Met Express. So now tonight, we're relaunching Happy's New Faces Songwriting Talent Program. So New Faces was, of course, the show that where Victoria got her first big break. So we want to help musicians at any stage of their career to develop their talent and get their first big break. People who take part will be mentored by David Furman, Victoria's legendary musical director. And I can vouch for David. He taught me to sing in a play written by Victoria for the Sheffield Crucible. The play was called Good Fun, and it was about a cystitis rally. <laughs> so, <laughs> true. Anyway, those who take part in New Faces will work with David. He'll orchestrate their songs, which will then be performed in front of a live audience at Happy in September. The other New Faces mentor is Alpha Education's Joe Nelson. Joe plays with Manchester band models, and here they are. I found you were now so great But they hang above in judgment of the day But then you pass through the door Well, how high were you planning on raising the bar? Cause I'm propped against it, knocking back my Catholic guilt I'm sad with men twice my age Mother, I'm drinking again, but learning her name could come and force a change We could be a thriller, baby You were sin so I could find out Well, how it all goes down And I tell you that you're wrong If you say you've been here all along We could be a thriller, baby If we give it time to work yourself So let's give it a try We could be a thriller, baby You were sin so I could find out Well, how it all goes down And I tell you that you're wrong If you say you've been here all along We could be a thriller, baby If we give it time to work yourself out Against it, knocking back my Catholic guilt. I'm sad with men twice my age. Mother, I'm drinking again, but learning of her name could come and force a change. We could be a thriller, baby. You were sin, so I could find out well, how it all goes down. And I tell you that you're wrong if you say you've been here all along. We could be a thrill 
thriller, baby If we give it time, we can work it all out Cause you were right on cue Oh, you thrill me, baby And I wanna thrill you, yeah We could be a thriller To the foot of your bed I start the first descent You've all the poise and strength Of a lioness Past the velvet rope Through to that sacred zone In what was no man's land I start to build a home Seem to attract the sun and moon we act as you scratch my back and take me around the zodiac. And she's screaming the green light. I want to be just so. an annual thing but that's what the Chino will say for us it's every day and you complete the circle you hear one rip at a time she shocks and electrifies next generations on your spine and she's screaming the green light
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we're models. Thanks for having us. It's an absolute delight to be here. This is uh, the first time we played live together in uh, pushing on 18 months now. So thank you for gifting us the opportunity. We've stripped everything back, as I'm sure you can tell. It's not a real drum kit. Don't tell him. Um, so these are all original songs. The next one is called Find It. very live. I've heard you found religion or at least something to give you time to For the circle you are in You need an escape route from under my skin Let me in, let me know what you're looking for Find it, find it The last thing I recall is you're beautiful but Do you need reminding The time took your taste And maybe it's you that you've misplaced Or so whatever you've lost For the fear of being boring Just looking for substance Well let me help you in the changes I miss the days when we were strangers Let me in, let me know what you're looking for Find it, find it The last thing I would call is you do you need reminding the time to your taste? Maybe it's you that you've misplaced. Well, so whatever you've lost, I hope you find it. Find it, find it. Say, so if you're gonna do it, do it honestly. I see the color run around, I feel your face. Still you're firing back into the cavalry Oh, when all's lost, love stays Let me in, let me know what you're looking for The last thing I recall is you're beautiful What well, do you need reminding? The time took your taste Maybe it's you that you've misplaced So whatever you've lost, I hope you find it Let me in, let me know what you're looking for Find it, find it The last thing I recall is you're beautiful So whatever you've lost, I hope you find I 
There's some sort of stage in the center of a darkened groove. Some form of a quiet taste leads you to a private room. We circulate the air, howling like a nightmare, sweating on the floor, bounce off ceilings onto walls, pulsing fingers off the pace, but your head's gone from familiar to a Um, I'm sure you're all familiar with the date today and we'd just like to um, dedicate this next song to everybody that we lost uh, in the arena attack uh, and to everybody that was affected with that. This is called Death's Not What It Used To Be. Okay. 
broken up paint by numbers When the sky's the color of hope And sometimes it's candlelight Sometimes the sun Sometimes it's a raindrop And sometimes a river runs If no one lives forever with certainty Then who do the unbelief? Well, you know that I'd give a little Give a little, I give a little of my life tonight Cause death's not what it used to be What if fate chooses you Promote you to a queen Thought that's a meal ticket But every crown's got a guillotine You live with a mind that's trying to survive Whilst your body's shaking hands with the hangman And you know I've cried I died to join you for 40 days The only safe way of suicide If no one lives forever with certainty Then who do the young believe? You know that I'd give a little, give a little i give a little of my life tonight Cause death's not what it used to be Thank you so much for having us. Um, thank you to the Happy Foundation, uh, to the Met, to Alpha Education for having us. I'm just going to say a couple of words at the end, uh, linked in with the new faces thing, apparently. There's going to be something on the screen. You can tell I've lost my showbiz pizzazz. It's all gone in the last 18 months. We're going to leave you with this one. It's called Kissing in the Kitchen. Thank you very much. Or we will do shortly. Good job it's not live or anything. It'd be awful, wouldn't it? There we go. Well, 
this is death, live and in color. We're all here to witness the end. Love's a thought, I thought we'd feel it forever. And now I'm learning to breathe again. Thought we'd have endless summers, but that's the last button done on my coat. Did I ever want to build a home? I just need someone to laugh at my jokes well, Two years of ideas on how this all would be And we're locking eyes Until the point of vanishing And this was the end But she's whispering Can we get back to Kissing in the kitchen again Well there's a bristled silence around here Since you turned the volume down in my mouth Well every ounce of this house is witness Something we can't talk about I was pushing on a pull door Saw a red man when I should go I wish you may as well have thrown me the bottle Hills in the road. Well, two years of ideas on how the soul would be, and we're locking eyes until the point of finishing. And this was the end, but she's whispering, Can we get back to we're kissing in the kitchen again? Thanks again so much for listening. Thanks to everybody involved for having us. Uh, I just do have to mention as a carry on from just before, apparently there's something on the screen now if you're at home, which if you're not here, you are. Um, not necessarily. We're on, a, we're on a schedule, aren't we? Um, there's something on the screen now. It's all the details you'll need to find if you want to be part of our New Faces uh, songwriting sessions. All the information will be on our website, uh, apparently on the screen now. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you, models. For a person with a full sex life, she's done a hell of a lot of tapestries. <laughs> now, people think I hate sex. I don't. I just don't like things that stop you seeing the television properly. <laughs> I like that one. Back in the darker days of last year, we were forced into going online for everything. Well, we wanted to make sure you had a smile on your face, and what better way than to take one of Victoria's iconic comic songs and ask people to make their own versions. 
So here's Happy's version of the Ballad of Barry and Frieda, with thanks to everyone who took part. I'd rather watch from Kesha on the television I can't do it, I can't do it tonight So she said, let's do it, let's do it Do it till our hands go boom Go native, creating, living in the living room This fine, it's Charlie Ben Me over back with my hostess trolley Let's do it, let's do it tonight But he said, I can't do it, I can't do it My heavy beef days are gone I'm older, feel colder, it's other things that turn me on. I'm imploring, I'm boring, let me read this catalogue on vinyl flooring. I can't do it, I can't do it tonight. Then she said, let's do it, let's do it, Sabbath crazy night of love. I'll strip back, I'll just wear stilettos and an oven glove. Don't starve a girl, have a pearl lava, dangle from the world of the ballet club. Let's do it, let's do it tonight. <laughs> I can't do it, I can't do it, I know when you get it wrong. Don't dangle for me to dangle, my arms have never been that strong. Stop pouting, stop shouting, you know I pulled a muscle when I did that grouting. I can't do it, I can't do it tonight. Let's do it, let's do it, sharing that wild romance. Frenetic, poetic, this could be your last big chance. To go on Milton, to eat Stilton, to roll a gay abandon on the tough did Wilton. Let's do it, let's do it tonight. I can't do it, I can't do it, I've lots of other jobs on hand. Don't grouse round the house, I've got a busy evening planned. Stop nagging and flagging, you know as well as I do, the bags won't lagging. I can't do it, I can't do it tonight. really not my cup of tea. I'm harassed, embarrassed, I wish you hadn't picked on me. No dramas, give me my pajamas. The only girl I'm mad about is Judith Chalmers. I can't do it, I can't do it tonight. Let's do it, let's do it, I really want to run the muck. Let's wriggle, let's jiggle, let's really make the rafters rock. Be mighty, be flighty, come and melt the buttons on my flame proof nighty. Let's do it, let's do it tonight. Not me. 
meekly. Beat me on the bottom with my woman's weekly. Let's do it. Let's do it tonight. I'm going north, it's a compulsion with me. Even in Tesco's, I had straight for the freezer cabinets on the back wall. <laughs> and finally, happy wouldn't be a night celebrating Victoria Wood without a group of wonderful women singing silly songs. A fabulous trio from Manchester, go, go do lally for do lally. Thank you. drunk at a wedding or something, but it's all right, we'll get you there, just go with us, it's fine, we'll bring you. We'll sing some songs for you that you won't forget. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you. <laughs> it's very exciting to see a live audience, live breathing people, how exciting. We have, a, oh, they're all waving at us, very nice, very good. <laughs> We haven't performed together since a year ago, last February, so as you can imagine, we've been a bit, little bit worried. But actually, to be honest, that's not the only thing we've worried about, because between us, we have a, a lot of worries. So we thought we'd start tonight with our worry song. <clears throat> We're a little scared to tell you about all our funny fears. We hope you'll understand us. We hope you'll be all ears. We're sure you can relate to our extensive detailed list. If you think there's more to add, just tell us what we've missed. We're scared of lifts and trains and aeroplanes and fitting into very small spaces. Macho footy fans, people with big hands, men with very hairy faces. Sitting in the dentist chair, waxing off my pubic hair, this is just the start. So many things that frighten us, including an accidental fart from your fanny. <laughs> because there's fun fair rides, those curly water slides, and getting in a taxi on your own. Walking in the dark, loud dogs that bark, paying off that bloody massive loan. And then there's spiders that crawl very fast across the wall, mice that appear out of a crack. Our obsession with phones, kids who won't leave home, and men who have a very hairy back. Ooh. And crack. Oh, and the monobrow here. And sometimes even knuckles are quite hairy, aren't oh, they? Oh, and the ones so that come up So then here. there's visiting a public loo. Shopping for my size at shoes. Going on, on the underground. underground. Spreading germs when you sneeze. Passing on your STDs. Eating pies and putting on a pound. There's Boris with his Brexit deal. The way Matt Hancock makes us feel. These big. all scare us sick. Cuts in welfare. Paying for my parents' care. And a virus that will spread real quick. What, like a pandemic or something? Don't be ridiculous, Jen, as if it would ever happen. <laughs> you you see, see, it's all so frightening, but we haven't mentioned lightning or talked about the mask we have to wear. Middle East or Syria, my casual chlamydia. Or if a paramedic sees your underwear. Your, your mother, mother warned you, don't let a paramedic see my underwear. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very kind. 
We were a little bit worried that we've gone from the Halle to us, and uh, we may have brought the tone down, so I appreciate you being welcoming. Um, it's, it's fantastic to be here. The Happy Festival is a glorious thing, isn't it? Who would have known how much we needed a happy festival at this time? Uh, and uh, Victoria Wood means a lot to, uh, to all of us, uh, and so it's an absolute honour to be here singing for you. That is a very sexy chord, Helen. It is. And I'll tell you what else is sexy. The menopause. Gonna take a menopausal journey Gonna make it nice and slow Gonna have some difficulty sleeping And a compromised libido Gonna have some dryness in my regions And some heavy nighttime sweats <laughs> Though a mood and funny palpitations Did I tell you this already? Cause she sometimes forgets Mood swings Wanna rip somebody's head off And now I can't stop bloody crying Am I going crazy? No, you're not Hormones all over the shop <laughs> Never thought my sheets could get so soggy Oh, the heat that comes from me Never knew my brain could get so foggy Gonna need some HRT Mood swings, I wanna rip somebody's head off Now I can't stop bloody crying Am I going crazy? No, you're not, hormones all over the shop Gonna take this menopausal journey Gonna make it nice and slow Gonna see I'm not the only person There's a room full here, don't you know? Ooh, a room full of estrogen Baby, I'm coming home Did we see Davina a couple of weeks ago in the documentary? Hero. It's good to be talking about it. It's even better to be singing about it. <laughs> um, there are some things in life that baffle us, and this next song is about one of those things. <clears throat> Why would anybody iron? I just don't see why Standing by that bloody board would make you wanna cry I'm a bit of linen for that special party, yes But a weekly pile that's three foot high with slobs, we don't care less You could have spent that precious time WhatsApping all your mates Practicing yourself, you posed in prep for Tinder dates Fantasize about wild sex upon the kitchen table Instead of that, you've spent an hour checking every label One, two, three, four oh, Why would anybody iron? I just don't see why Standing by that bloody board would make you wanna cry I'd a bit of linen for that special party, yes But a weekly father's three foot high with slots, we don't care less you could be rude with squirty cream, the circle on repeat. Watching kittens on YouTube or pumicing your feet. Whoever irons knickers or your bedding, that's, that's not fine. fine. Hands up, ironers, fess up now. Admit you're wasting time. One, two, three, four. Oh, why would anybody iron? I just can't see why. Standing by that bloody board would make you wanna cry. I'd a bit of linen for that special party, yes. But a weekly pile that's three foot high with slops, we don't care less. So that we don't care less. Thank you. Oh. 
We're just coming up for our last song now. And this one, um, pre-COVID, was definitely a lot of women's experience. Men, I'm sure you'll appreciate it too. Um, during COVID, perhaps not so much. Uh, I'm not going to say any more about it, but you'll soon see what I mean. That'll have to do. They'd buy me a pint and some grub I thought they were the kindest friend in town Kindest friend, friend in town Should I share my feeling? Why the offer was not appealing? Cos in the end I had to turn them down I had to turn them down Because the bra's off now The bra's off now Yeah, the bra's off now The bra's off now I've had me a crush on someone who I see on the bus. We finally swapped our numbers just last week. She got his digits, ooh, she got his digits. He texts at 7.30 with an invite that was flirty. My perfect date, I'd have to wait to meet. Have to wait to meet. Because the bra's off now. The bra's off now. Yeah, the bra's off now. Mammary Can't quite hear you Mammary 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 I'm a competition winner Oh, nice one, Jen With a five-star Michelin dinner Get in A chance to spend the evening with a star Oh, do you think it'll be someone off curry? I bet it's someone off curry A private jet would take me oh. To an island near Tahiti You're kidding me They've offered me a chauffeur-driven car Chauffeur-driven car But the bra's off now The bra's off now Yeah, the bra's off now The bra's off Mammary to memories. I think Victoria Wood would be proud of us. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for having us. Thanks to the Happy Festival and everyone at Berry Met. Thanks Techies and Noreen. It's been an absolute honour and a sheer delight to perform to real people. So thanks so much. Thanks Weirdo Lally. Thank you Do Lally. And that brings us to the end of this happy night. We hope you've enjoyed a little bit of the spirit of Victoria Wood in her hometown. So thanks for being here and at home. And thanks to Berry Met and all their wonderful staff and to the Victoria Wood Foundation, because we couldn't have done it without you. And to Berry Council, 
who are celebrating this year as Greater Manchester's Town of Culture with support from Greater Manchester's combined authority. We are truly grateful. Berry is beyond proud of our Vic and how she made people feel. But we'd like to apologize to our viewers in the North. It must be awful for them. Happy will be back in September. In the meantime, stay safe and stay happy. Thank you for coming. Good night. Oh